Study the graph below which represents the monthly expenses for the Jacobs family household. Our question 2.1 it states identify the type of graph used to represent the expenses for the Jacobs family. So try to understand all the different types of graphs. In this case we are looking at a, a single bar graph. So 2.2 identify the minimum and maximum values that is spent for the month. You see, um, although we have our values at the side here, we see around this area here, these numbers here, it basically gives us specific values for the uh, bars. For instance, if you look at the shortest bar, that will be our minimum, and we see it will be this bar here, and we see right at the bottom here we have 1,400. So our minimum is 1,400 and the maximum would be the tallest bar, it's over here and our amount would be 6,000 rand. You see it's also indicated at the side here too. So either way you still get the value and that's 6,000 rand. Very easy question and this area this section here you generally score because the questions are fairly easy and off the graph as well okay is the food expense a fixed expense variable or an occasional expense so in this case here food is something that you pay more or less on a daily basis right and also the amount will vary as to what you're buying for the particular day to eat so your answer would be variable write the ratio of the cost for the water and electricity to rent so when you're presenting your answer you present it as they requested so if it's water and electricity is to the rent so the amounts would be uh, this is water and electricity and there's your rent so it would be 3,000 is to 6,000. And remember, ratio must be in its simplest form. So we know 3,000 goes here one time and 3,000 goes here two times. Arrange the expenses in ascending order. Ascending order is from lowest to highest. So if we had to look at this area here and get our answers, so if you see, you'll notice that 1,400 is our lowest number. So we strike that off. So we know that we don't repeat that number. And you continue striking off. So you know you don't miss out any number. And also, we find that learners tend to miss out just one number. And it can cause a problem when they have follow-up questions. For example, if you are asked to find the median, you'll find your median would be incorrect. Instead of 10 numbers, you would have had 9 and then your answers would be incorrect. So just by inspection, you keep cancelling those numbers and arranging it in lowest to highest. And I'm just writing it down now to save us some time, but just to show you method in terms of how we approach these things. So you keep striking them off and you arrive at this answer here from lowest to highest. And make sure you check your double check your amount of numbers. There are 8 numbers at the bottom. Right, eight, and uh, therefore you should have eight numbers here. So two, four, six, eight, correct. Okay, two point six. Determine the median expense for the month. So the median sounds similar to the middle, or I normally tell learners the middle. So we can remember that, right? So we know we're looking for the middle middle term, but the problem is uh, we have eight numbers here presented to us at the bottom. So in a case like this, we take generally take the middle two terms. So we have 2,500. We add them up and divide by 2. This would give us 5,500 divided by 2. And our answer will be 2,750.
2.7 calculate the mean expense so if you look at the word mean right, it's the only one that would have the A in the first three letters I normally tell the learners so the A would remind us that it is the average that they want right, just the first three letters we look at for mean median and mode and we find it's the only one that has an A in it so that's a reminder we have average so the average means we're adding up all the numbers the eight numbers will be added up and we divide by the number of numbers which is eight so adding this 1400 all the way to 6000 we get an amount of 24900 zero zero. and then we'll divide by eight numbers because they are given us eight numbers and our answer would be three one one two comma five and you don't round off your number you just leave it like this and that would be your answer 2.8 determine the modal expense for the month okay modal comes from the word mode right and if you look at the first three letters it's mo that o will tell us that it's the number that appears the most often so let's look at the number that appears most often from the list below and we find that it's the 2500 so therefore our answer will be 2500 Super 9, name an expense that could fall in the other category. So we're keeping in mind that we are looking at an household budget. So some of the things that could come up occasionally under other, it's not listed here, would be medical expense. Another thing that we could speak of is a vacation. Or either we could say a gift for somebody's birthday. So that's generally some of the things that we could speak of.